my God, I think we're live. Let me get my hair all did. Hi there. Um, are you looking to invest in real estate or do you have a piece of real estate you're looking to sell? Well, I'm here to help you. My name is Amelia Sincere. I talk to y'all about the extra special properties that only a Southern Belle can sell. Well, I just want to say to y'all that there are so many real estate properties out there that just get overlooked. You know, maybe at one point you might have been able to classify them as a crack shack or an old meth lab. Or maybe someone, a house that some hoarders lived in. But let me tell y'all, first of all, you gotta check to see because those houses could be worth more than you'd ever imagine. I mean, if you have an old meth lab, if you have a crack shack, you have no idea if those houses might have been on a television program. Now, the person selling them might not know that, but you as an educated buyer can do the research. And before you know it, you have a house that has had national exposure. <clears throat> Next thing, you know, a little bit of residue um, might not be such a big deal. First of all, it's organic. Second of all, it can be remedied. Not a problem. Everything is figure outable. And the next thing is that, you know, sometimes people are just scared of the, me of the word. It was a meth lab. They get so scared of those walls those words. But like my mama said, you better load your brain before you shut your mouth off. Now, those houses might present a teeny weed in a little, in a little, little, little bit of a health problem later on. But main thing is when you buy that crack shack or old meth lab, you are then going to be able to say it was your house. You don't have to say it's a meth lab. Once you buy the house, then then when you're selling it, it's just all about how you did work on it. You are not required to say legally that it was an old meth lab because that is old news two owners ago. No one wants to know about that. No one wants to care about that. And for y'all sake, you can get a better price without mentioning it. So, I would consider these these kinds of properties um, and let me know if you have a property you want me to look at. I can tell you all the wonderful things about it and how you can really market that property no matter how much graffiti, no matter how many little baggies from the drug baggies, no matter how many cartels have trafficked people in and out of there. I can guarantee you I can find a way to sell it and for a good price. So this is Amelia Sincere here to say Make sure you get a good price on your crack shacks, hoarder homes, and old map labs. All right? So have a good day now. Bye.